Here we have three modules. The one of them is the Raspberry Pi. Two of them are the node MCOs along with their accelerometers. We place the accelerometers on the axis of the wheels, on the front and the rear, this way. And we put on the, axis, the Raspberry Pis in front of the vehicle, at this position, along with the GPS pointing, at, pointing towards the very front. So once the official logs in, uh, he, can see, he can see the basic interface of our portal. Uh, the first part shows a number of uh, portholes in a region, uh, based, uh, classified according to, uh, to their intensities, high, medium and low. Uh, the lower part shows a cumulative analysis, uh, which gives uh, the, a comparison between uh, the past data and the present data. What we have is the list of portholes and the timestamp on which they were detected, along with their locations and their scores and uh, the intensity associated with each, every, each and every pothole. The next part uh, is a color-coded website, a color-coded map, uh, where we are basically using the concept of Google Maps. As, as Google Maps works for the concept of uh, traffic analysis using color coding, uh, we've used the same uh, uh, concept in our website. Uh, and this basically gives the uh, quality of the street around uh, the zone. This is an analysis of uh, the data which we've used in our, on our website, uh, which gives the graph of the x, y, and z axis of the accelerometers. This is a parameter, the ride quality score, on the basis of which we have defined our intensity of the potholes. And the next one showing a bar graph uh, of the count of the medium, uh, high, and the low quality, uh, low intensity potholes on our uh, system. Uh, the last aspect is uh, where we are pinpointing the locations of the potholes on uh, the Google map. Uh, so the government officials can know the exact locations of the portals and uh, uh, go about doing the necessary action and fixing them. There were situations where we felt that the project was an absolute disaster. Like there were situations where the components failed, where we burnt out all the devices. There were points where we felt that it's not going to work or uh, it's just going to be a prototype, not a product. From there we realized that it, there, there was no point in giving up because we had worked three months and now if we give up, it's not a, it's gonna be a, it's just gonna be an idea, a dormant idea that never took a shape. A Yantra, it gave us an idea, it gave us an opportunity to bring out our ideas, to bring out the different side of our lives. People should definitely participate in Eantra Ideas competition, I feel, because it allows you to expand your boundaries to explore into the unventured part. And moreover, the feedback that we got from the mentors for at each and every single step during the journey was very, very valid and it really helped us uh, come where we are right now. Due to Eantra, we learned how to analyze data, how to generate data and use it. The second important phase of our project was the literature survey that was conducted. We actually met BMC officials to know what specification they have for a uh, pothole. Another uh, exposure that Eantra gave us due to this project is interaction with industrial exper uh, experts. So that now we have an idea how to complete a, proje a project as a product, as a marketable product.